Good morning. I slept terrible last night, but hey, I'm gonna head to Mr. Mystery Club, do a wee 5k and get a coffee with everyone, and it's gonna be lovely. Although it's also gonna be 13 degrees. It's July. This is like the coldest summer that I think I've ever had. Global warming in it. Anyway, oh god, look at this. <laughs> Nothing so dry shampoo can mix. <laughs> going for drinks. I didn't really know where the place was. And I'm here. I don't know if it's the right place. Oh, crude. I'm having so much fun. Ah, sorry. I can't help it. Oh, I'm having so much fun. I love these ones. These are usually like the cheapest ones. Granted, these were four pounds because we went to Sainsbury's, but they're just so lovely. And this is like day 12 or something of having them. Anyway, we already started on a tangent. <laughs> Today, I can't remember what day it is, but I'm just making myself a coffee. I've actually got those sachet things. Do you remember these? I would have them sometimes at uni as a treat because, you know, the broke student life even packet coffee like this is a treat. <laughs> but yeah, I've been very much enjoying this. Oh, but I always add like more coffee than they give you because otherwise it just tastes like sweet milk. Uh, now I think it's gonna taste like very strong coffee. <laughs> Today I am, um, well I'm working, but I'm actually going to Albania <laughs> on Friday um, with all my uni friends, which would be so nice because we've not all met up as a group for like, for maybe five years having us all together because even in our last year of uni it was a struggle to get all of us in one place so this will be really nice and it's kind of like a belated hen do for the girl I went to the wedding of in May because that was in America and not everyone can make it because obviously America is expensive and far away so we're doing kind of like a European hen do version so we're getting all the penis straws and everything this is how I make this, it's so much better so yeah, today I'm gonna go and get my euros out because it's actually gonna be quite a faff for me. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm flying, we're actually not staying in Albania, we're staying in Sarande, Saranda. Um, but I'm flying into the capital, Tirana. No one else is, they're flying to Corfu and getting a ferry. I fly to Tirana and then I've got to get a five hour bus. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna hope that there's room on the bus, that I can get a taxi to the bus easy enough. Um, but they take cash, so I need to take euros and also, the Albanian currency is actually lek, so I'm starting to exchange that when I'm there. And arriving a day later than everyone else, because flights from Scotland are just not the one. <laughs> and everyone else is flying from, well, London or somewhere in Europe, so yeah. I'm a little bit nervous. I actually had a dream last night that I was at a and b with actually different friends, and I had to pay for the room. And then they told me to put my card pin in, and I couldn't remember it. And then I woke up and I was like, fuck, I can't remember my card pin. So now I've got that to deal with. <laughs> I'm hoping that I've just convinced myself I can't and actually when it comes down to it I will, but don't want to take any risks with that. So long story short, I'm getting euros out. I also actually need to buy a white blouse because I've got a photo shoot on Thursday, would you believe? Like a branding one for the business. And I've got smart trousers, but I don't have a smart shirt. And my sister was meant to bring one up for me, but she forgot. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to go and buy one of them and then Last thing on the list is I need to go to the shop and buy some balsamic vinegar and also some popcorn because me and Callum are going to the cinema tonight to watch Fly Me to the Moon because I love a bit of Channing Tatum. But popcorn is expensive so we're cheapskates and I'm going to go buy some from Sainsbury's. <laughs> but it'll be a nice day and I'm hopefully going to try and go to the gym. All of this as well as doing my full day work. So it's going to be a busy day uh, but I want to fit everything in. So yeah, welcome to 
Tuesday. I want to say it's Tuesday. Right, I'm actually going to get to work and so we have time to do everything else. <laughs> by accident so she gave me one which was lovely so we're going on the errands which is me dressed in my running kit to try and make them go faster purse must be secure because I'm about to have a lot of euros in that phone and then do you think oh this is really twisted I have a feeling that this tiny backpack is not going to fit a blouse and two bags of popcorn and some balsamic in but we're going to just do our best <laughs> And then as soon as I've done that, I'm going to drop it all off here and then cycle to the gym, not run, because we are just saving the shins still a bit. And I'm hoping to do a 10k with the run club tomorrow evening. So yeah, here is my final look for going to the shops. It's actually 16 degrees now, so... Oh, headphones. Cannot do this without music. I'm really hoping that for this blouse it's just going to be a quick in and out because I really cannot be arsed with trying things on. So, let's go. There was just the two of us and one other person in the cinema. I'm surprised they even like put films on when there's just so little people. But we watched um, Fly Me to the Moon. It was it was really good. I really liked it. Probably wasn't Callum's favourite film, but yeah, really good. It was meant to be get up to like 18 degrees today with like sun and clouds. So I think I'm going to try and go for a swim in the afternoon once I finish my work. And then I've got 10k with the run club today. I'm also having a salmon cream cheese bagel for my dinner and I'm very excited about it. <laughs> That's all I have to say. I'm going to get back to work and also pack actually this afternoon and that's who I'm bringing to Albania. I'm actually only going to be there for like, I'm only at the place that we're going to for one full day, which seems ridiculous but it's just a fab, it's such a fab to get there from Scotland. So yeah, it is what it is, I don't have enough holidays to go any longer so unfortunately that's the way it goes. Anyway, hold the chat later, let's go some work. can't see. I had to pull the blinds because it was so sunny so that's always a good sign um, and I'm hoping the water is going to be less cold because it's meant to be 18 degrees right now so it's like only half one but I've been inside all day and I'm stressed <laughs> so I'm gonna go take a break go for a swim maybe oh maybe I'll make a cup of tea to take with me and a wee snack and then I can sit on the side and read afterwards that'll be quite nice and then come back and deal with the rest of the shit show that is holiday prep <laughs> at work <laughs> Right, I'm gonna put some more clothes on <laughs> and then get on my bike. T-shirt in first because I'm just wearing my bikini under this. Then underwear. My book I'm currently reading Regretting You by Colleen Hoover. It's okay. I'm trying to finish it though before I go on holiday so I can download a new book, which I know what it's going to be. It's by the same author that wrote Seven Days in June, which I really liked. So I think I'm gonna read whatever that one was. It was called something like uh, a song poem to wild. I'll put the name on the screen, but it looks good. So anyway, but I wonder, oh, I've lost my Irish passport. I wonder if it's in here. What was this? Oh! 
birthday cards. <sighs> oh. Well, I'm going to have to put that up back on my mantelpiece because I literally just took them all down. Brilliant. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Not my passport, but cute nonetheless. Okay, book. Going in. My massive towel. <laughs> Which seems excessive, but it just makes changing so much easier and I can sit in it if I'm cold. Swimming socks for in case it's rocky. I think the tides are... are going out um, and then plastic bag for all my wet things and now I'm going to find a snack snack while I have oh I don't think there's really that many options to be honest I could just have another chocolate digestive or a brunch bar uninspiring this is so cute my gran got me this and isn't it such a gran flask and to be honest I think I am just gonna have digestive biscuits because I prefer them to like cereal bars you know, like, I'm not really a cereal bar person or like a chocolate bar person. Does anyone else have like those chocolate bars that you just will never touch ever again because you've eaten them so much? Because for that, like Kit Kats and caramel wafers, I spent like seven years of my childhood having that in my pack lunch and I will just not eat them if I can help it now. Like if I was starving and someone offered me a caramel wafer, I would want to say no. I just, I don't like them and I think that's the reason why. So anyway, there's a story no one asked for. <laughs> I'm also wearing a ridiculous outfit because <laughs> it's just like things that are easy to change into after swimming. Let's go. <laughs> the sea is looking so lovely. I made the error of forgetting to put sun cream on, but alas. So we're back. Hello, that swim was lovely. Anyway, since I've come back, I've been packing. And actually, well, I tried everything on. I didn't show you because there just it was a lot of nakedness. <laughs> I've actually managed to fit everything in this bag. Like, look at that. And then it just closes. I will have to put this in here because obviously Reiner is not gonna let me away with that and my wash bag. But it fits a lot better than I thought it would. So that's great news. But yeah, and then I have to actually bring like a whole other set of clothes because I'm gonna be in Edinburgh uh, for all of Tuesday working from my sister's flat. So yeah. So I'm having dinner at 20 to five because I'm running at six. Um, maybe I'll have a snack after, I don't know. I might burn. I don't think so. I mean, that's the last thing I need before I go to Greece. <laughs> Run has been done. That was actually so nice because the sun came out and it was really warm, like so much warmer than it was um, when I was swimming even. So now I'm in my pyjamas and it's time to do my eyebrows. For this, I use this, which I got off eBay for a tenner, along with whatever this is. Um, and I just dye them myself, as you can kind of see, they're kind of needing done. Um, otherwise, like I have completely blonde, translucent eyebrows. Until I was about 20, I had no eyebrows. <laughs> Until I started dyeing them. But I used to get them dyed and then obviously COVID, that didn't happen anymore, but now. I found out how to dye myself, so I'm gonna do that ready for my holiday. I'm also gonna rosemary oil, coconut oil my hair overnight before I go into the Albanian heat and it absolutely fries. So I thought we'd take some care of it, do some self care this evening, and then I'm doing a full shower tomorrow before this branding photo shoot. And then the next time I have a shower will be on my holiday, which will be lovely. So yeah, I'm gonna go do my eyebrows. They look really scary when they're waiting to be dried. <laughs> and then I've got a little bit of work to tie up and basically prepare, but. That 10k was the first 10k I've done in months because of shin splints and so far so good. Touch would it be okay. I did ice my shin afterwards just in case but it was like a really slow paced run so hopefully that will have been okay. We'll see. Anyway, good night for now. I will see you maybe tomorrow.